Hey, Fisky here. Welcome to the very first Oldies and Oddities video. The game I've chosen to share with you today is actually the game that inspired the series. I saw this game at my local Goodwill store, among dozens of scratched Christmas music CDs. And right then I knew, eventually, I was going to buy it. The case art was like nothing I'd ever seen before. The disc was completely unscratched, as if it had never been used. The title, Gubble, told me nothing. And the tagline, the ultimate arcade action maze game, didn't really help much either. But, for some reason, I didn't buy it. I walked out of the store without the game. Over the next few months, the game remained there, waiting for me. Nobody bought it. As far as I can tell, nobody even touched it. Every visit, I looked at it, read its name, Gobble. Somehow I knew. I knew what I had to do. I bought it. I bought it, took it home, installed it. Somehow, game, despite being from 1996, according to the text on the back, installed perfectly on my Windows 10 machine. I immediately started recording with the hopes of sharing my reaction with you. The problem is, I don't have a reaction. I have very rarely been rendered speechless by a game, but I have no words for what I'm about to show you. What exactly can I say about that? I'd like to point out that the sudden cutoffs weren't my doing, that's exactly how it happened. Anyways, we seem to be at a sort of main menu. We can start a new game. Uh... Alright, I don't know what that was, but I'm going to start a new game before anything else happens. Alright, this I think I can handle. We have a pretty standard overworld map with some of the worst controls I have ever experienced. And then we have Govel, or a Govel, I, I don't exactly know. Looking at... And then more troubling than the sudden cutoffs is this scene we're presented with. A lot of palm trees, some loopy things, I, I don't even know what else I would call those arches, 
and then we have this thing and then you go around and you spin on these things while well, avoiding these things and that's the game that, that's the entire game Zimbot? I excuse me. Zimbot? Is that the name of the planet or the level? N no. 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 Okay, I have no clue what a Zimbot is. It's never explained. Hold on, let me let me take a look at the manual real quick. All right, all right. So I have the manual here and. God, this is... Anyways, I have the manual, and it does in fact say you have to go down to the Zimbots of the planet Renegar and unscrew them, and that they've been screwed, nailed, and riveted by space pirates. But it fails to mention what exactly a Zimbot is, only that they've been screwed and your job is to unscrew them and that's actually less baffling to me than the reason why they have to call this character about 30 different names in the course of one paragraph let me just quickly flash on the screen some of the things that they call this character whose name is Gubble that's the name of the character so at least we figured that out. Um, interestingly enough, these screenshots of the game in the manual, despite being black and white, actually look a little better than what I'm seeing. So my copy of the game is probably damaged or something isn't running perfectly. And that is really the entire game. I went through the entire first world map of this, hoping against hope that something would change. Occasionally they'll throw in a new tool that you have to stand on and like pull nails out or unscrew a different type of screw. It doesn't actually change the gameplay any. And they'll throw in new enemies that act exactly the same. It, it really doesn't change the gameplay at all. Maybe something happens beyond the first world that makes the game worth playing. But I never got that far. That's, that's Gobble, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and give this game a negative 7. The game is terrible. It is not worth your time to play. However, it does run relatively well on modern systems, despite graphical glitches that I believe are the result of the new operating system. Um, that's not a reason to play it, though. <laughs> it is not worth your time. Maybe the PlayStation version's better, but I seriously doubt it. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the first F-Cubed Oldies and Oddities, and we hope to continue doing this sort of content. Not just myself, but other members are interested in doing other videos related to games that are either old, odd, or both. So if that's the kind of thing you like, remember to subscribe and come back and see if we've created more content. And if you like the video, you know what to do. We look forward to any comments you might leave. All that good stuff. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.